Lorenzo Neal was a battering ram fullback who played 16 seasons in the NFL for eight different teams, but it's what he did here in Tennessee that has kept him on the minds of Titans fans, especially after playing a major role in the most famous sports play in our city's history, a play he's all too eager to relive. Music City Miracle. You know the names. Wycheck. Dyson. And of course, Mike Keith. End zone! Touchdown Titans! There are no flags on the field! But lest we forget who started home run throwback. Former Titans fullback Lorenzo Neal, who caught Steve Christie's kickoff and handed the ball back to Wycheck. Neal says he knew what was going to happen before it happened. We called the play. I remember going over to Frank Wycheck like after, after Coach called the play and Fisher's in the huddle and Lowry's out there calling it. I go over to Frank. I said, Frank, listen to me. They're going to kick me the ball. You come get it. Because I knew if I told everyone else, they would have been looking at me. And then it's just, it's just something you know that you have to do as a veteran player. You got to say, how can I maximize the opportunity? I was thinking of Roberto Duran's hands of stone. I wasn't known for my hands, brother. So Johnny, I was like, yeah, yeah, Big J. I was like, I got to catch this thing. And that play is still going to always be a top 10, top 15 plays, you know, in the league. The rest, of course, is history. And Lorenzo Neal is still a household name among Titans fans. These days, Neal lives in Northern California, where he co-hosts a sports talk radio show. And when he's not talking about the 49ers, he's keeping an eye on his old team, the Titans, and his old buddy, Mike Vrabel with whom he had some memorable collisions during their playing days. Vrabel is a good friend of mine, the guy who I played against and had some great battles. You ask Vrabel, if you're watching this, Vrabel, you know about 4-1. You know what I used to do to you. I used to put that smack, smack, <laughs> smack, smack, smack down on you. Boom. All kidding aside, Neil admits he's a bit surprised Tennessee committed to Ryan Tannehill this offseason instead of making a run at Tom Brady. Is he Tannehill? Is he a game changer or is he a game manager? When you think about what he did in the AFC Championship game, playing against Kansas City, tight end, running down the wheel route, wide open, overthrew. Look at the when he was asked to take over a game, can he do it? Hmm. Are they going out and getting the right weapons to make sure that he can? I, I don't know. So I'm looking at this situation. You're asking me, do what do I think about Tennessee? Think, I think you got a great coach. I think you got to play great defense. But can you go out, if you have to, and put up 30? I don't know if your quarterback is that guy. As a former player, Neil understands the challenges facing current NFL players who are trying to get ready for the upcoming season amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Lorenzo believes players who aren't self-motivated and hardworking will have a tough time getting up to speed once the season starts. Guys are going to be tested now more than they've ever been tested. And I'm talking about John in the sense that you usually have OTAs, you can be at the gym, you can be at the training facility, you got a strength coach that's showing you, walking you through this stuff, he's on your butt, he's riding you. Now, no one's on you right now. It's mm -hmm. what you do when no one's watching. This is really going to be an interesting time for the National Football League just for men themselves to really grow up and be men. We're grown men playing a kid's game, getting a king's ransom, John, and now the opportunity for guys to step up and really do the things they need to do because the cream will rise to the top, and the guys that haven't put in the work and haven't put in the time, they're going to be exposed, revealed, and uncovered very, very soon.